Hello, hi. Welcome to the channel. And today we will be rambling a little bit about stuff and like myself and music because I will be showing you my music collection today and I'll try to control my voice, like soft speaking. I always have like troubles with controlling my voice throughout the video because sometimes I will start with like soft speaking and then by the end of the video I will start almost shouting. Also I'm recording in front of the mirror. I, I wanted to say window. I'm recording in front of the window and so there might be some wind noises outside and also dogs barking as in every other video of mine. But I hope I'm like clearly heard because my microphone is like in some distance in front of me. So okay, let's move on to the music. I will show you my shelf. Don't look at the room, don't look at the mess. Okay. I am recording with my front camera on my phone, so we will be showing like this. I have this shelf um, in, um, next to my window, so there are some games like uh, computer games and I mean PC and Xbox and apparently one PlayStation 2 and some music. I will be showing you more closely later and some books and more games and a little bit of comics like Heartstopper. I don't recommend, I didn't like that. And here's the music. I have four shelves of music albums here and just some more books on the lowest shelf. So I'll be showing you through these in a moment. Let's let's move on to cut. Okay, here we are. Oh wait, soft speaking, soft speaking. Before we start, I just wanted to say that this kind of video is very out of character for me because if you're new to this channel, then I'm so glad. Hi, thank you. Please like and subscribe. But if you're not new here and you saw my other videos, then you probably know that they are all role plays, almost all. Like 90% of them are role plays. I only do role plays like creative makeups and storytelling <laughs> and stuff. So this type of video is like my first ever show and tell and rumble about myself, so we'll see how that goes. If this video does well, then next I'm going to do my puzzle, co puzzle collection, because I have a very large puzzle collection. If you can see here on my desk is a puzzle like a completed jigsaw puzzle of a galaxy. And I have many more. Like over 100. Can you hear the wind? I'm... I can't like check this on Audacity, but like, do I see this? Is this recording? I don't know. More ambience. And also, one more thing, I am collecting questions for a Q&A video that I will do some sometime. So don't be shy and just feel free to put some questions down below in the comment section. like. Pretty much you can just ask me questions in comments of any of my videos, like any other of my videos. I will be more than happy to answer questions. By the way, also this is me out of drag. Like, you saw me in some videos without wigs and stuff, but this is me, how you will see me like on the street 
in school, like, I, I go to school like this. Usually when I'm not too lazy to put on makeup, because sometimes when the school starts at, let's say, 7.30, then I'm not putting any makeup on. No, I'm not doing this. I'm too exhausted and sleepy. But like, for a casual day at school, that's me. And also, hi, my name is Sasha. Like, my real name is Sasha. It's not Brybek. That's not a real name. It's only the channel's name. Like, my ASMR persona, Brybek. But hi, it's Sasha. Let's move on to the music collection and, and let's start with, like, the highest shelf, like the, the top, top one, topmost one. And I mean, it's not like I should be controlling my voice because I feel like I'm talking too loud. Soft speaking. My music collection is not like very organized by like any categories. Mostly I just put the same artist next to each other and it's not like categorized, so the first one that I see here is the Under Rays. Oh, maybe recording in front of the window was not a good idea because you can see the reflection. Should I move? I don't know. The Under Ray, uh, Violet bent backwards over the grass, so it's not like really music, it's poetry. It's like audiobook, poetry. Very, very nice for like meditation and puzzling. Like I like to put this on while I'm puzzling. Next. Sabaton is not mine. This is my brother's like from like 15 years ago. A lot of time, um, a long time ago, my brother listened to Sabaton, but he doesn't anymore. And I have these albums in my collection just because he doesn't need them, he doesn't want them, and doesn't have where to put them. So I, I like store them on my shelf. So Sabaton, I don't listen. I don't know. Sabaton. Um, wait, that one was. Carolus Rex, and now this one is World War Live, Battle of the Baltic Sea, Battle of the Baltic Sea. Sabaton sometimes is singing about Polish history, right? I think. I mean, I don't listen, but that's what I heard. They do. They are from Sweden, and they are invested in Europe's history. Or so what I've heard. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard at least. Okay, next. Missy Elliot, I don't listen. I mean, I bought this... You know, when I was a child to teenager, let's say kid to teenager, middle school and primary school. I would just like go to the music shop and like see, okay, Missy Elliott, I know her. I know her two songs and I like them. So let's let's get this album and see what the tea is, right? So this is like a collection Vidania. Like a collection publish of um, five different albums. in like one container um, and I tried to listen to like the first one and I think the second one and I didn't like it, I'm sorry I think it's not my vibe I like some songs of Missy Elliott like Get Your Freak On or yeah? wait Get Your Freak On Ch chingaling, chingaling from Dance Central. 
Work it. I need a glass of water. Work it. I need a glass of water. Okay. I know like three songs. I know three songs. Okay. Next. 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 Now we have Julia Pietrucha and postcards from the sea side. And now this I love very much. I love the music of Julia Pietrucha. And this is like... I don't want to say collector's edition, but there is like handwritten note on the inside and I think also the disc is um, autographed. Let's see. On the inside of this package is her autograph. This is a very, very beautifully published album because it comes with a full ass instruction sheet of, of lyrics and also like guitar riffs, um, ukulele riffs. Do, do you say riffs? Riffs. Accord. And also postcards from the seaside, like some actual postcards from the seaside that you can um, write on something and like send. Send. Very beautiful collection of postcards from the seaside. By the way, check Julia Pietrucha on Spotify because her music is so like cozy. What genre is this? It's like kind of folk time, a little bit of indie pop, but not so much. Very casual. I don't know, is folk the right, the right word for this? And also she sings in English mostly, but also in Polish some songs. So as you can see, the names of the songs are like Sailor, Friends, but also Ewka, which is a Polish name, and Niebieski, which is a Polish song. So there's some in Polish and some in English. Very beautiful. I love Julia Petrucha and I also have a different album by Julia Pietrucha. I, I should be soft speaking, right? And I'm I'm shouting, as always. This is her first album. That that's parsley. 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 I I it's not written anything on the on the cover, but this this album is called Parsley. Because uh, by the way, Julia Pietrucha is a Polish name that means Julia Parsley. This is like Polish, Polish word for Parsley, so that's why, that's why. I'm just saying that's why. And I just think these albums are so beautifully composed and done because this really, really feels like a sea, seaside adventure, like kind of pirate adventure. Very, very summer, summer vibes and this is also giving very summer slash spring flowery like you I mean this cover is so in sync with these songs that are on this yeah and also uh, also here there are lyrics for this uh, for the songs here and Ukulele riffs. Do you say riffs? I don't know. Accord. Chwyty. Okay, that was the uppermost shelf, so let's move on to the, the next one. So I think it's this one. Next shelf. By the way, also I want to say that in like primary school to middle school, I was like, yeah, yeah, I can see this Lady Gaga album on the shelf, let's just get this, or Katy Perry. I don't listen to Katy Perry anything, like on a daily basis. I don't have even one song of her, or maybe I have one, Wide Awake, on my favorites playlist on Spotify. 
so many of these albums are not really in sync with my actual music taste. However, I do like indie pop and pop and also my music uh, preferences changed very much since primary school because in primary school I was like I love pop, I love techno, I love electronic, I love dance music, I love, I love like hard club music and then in middle school I was more into techno and electronic and computer music and now like in my adult life I'm more leaning to indie alternative might be like indie rock indie pop I still I still I still like pop but not as much as I did like in primary school I'm more of a more maybe indie folk american folk whatever next there is a sabaton next sabaton coat of arms but this one, I don't know what's the reason those doesn't have the cover. I don't know what happened. Maybe my brother used it for like a creative album or something, like a collage. So it doesn't have. Next is Sabaton, The Art of War. Again, I don't know much of Sabaton. I know their song like... Speeder, speeder, <laughs> or 40 to 1. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a big fan. These are not my albums, these are my brothers. I'm kind of wondering if I remember some of the titles Midway and Uprising. I like, I have a deja vu. Aces in Exile, like. These titles like give me deja vu, like I think I know, I think I can remember something. Okay, next. Theory of a Dead Man. That is very much like my, uh, like not everyday listening, but I love me some American teenage rock, like singing about girls. It's like giving me energy of the 2000s and this is from 2014 and you will see later that I also love some um, early 2000s boys bands like I mean this is not like a cute boys band this is a rock this is an American rock but the, me the, the lead singer's voice is very teenage like very teenage crush I'd say not mind crush but like, generally speaking. Theory of a Dead Man, good, nice. I like. Like, okay, a next Theory of a Dead Man, I mean, wait. This one is called Savages, okay? And this one is called The Truth Is. The truth is you're fucking useless. That's how the song goes. Like, you can say this on YouTube, but... I just did, so what you gonna do about it? <laughs> oh, there's a picture of them. Um, wait, will it focus? Will it focus? I wonder. It won't. It won't focus. So, but, you know, American rock boys. You understand, like daddies. Theory of a Dead Man. Theory. Theory. Theory of a Dead Man. Scars and Souvenirs. Uh, and also I'm wondering if I have to like flip the video in the post-processing. Because like how I see it on my screen, it's flipped, it's mirrored. We'll see. Next. I don't know, is this video too boring? Should I move on quicker, faster? Evelina Flinta. This is an, another Polish singer from my childhood. Like, I don't want to be mean. Her songs are a little weird. Her lyrics are weird. But I listened to 
this album of Evelina Flinta like in my deepest childhood since I was like four years old and five. So it's very, very nostalgic and I, I love her. I absolutely adore Evelina Flinta because like the nostalgic value, sentimental value is too much. She makes like Polish rock. Polish rock is a little different than most rocks. It's a little more... It's, it's weird. I don't know how to describe Polish rock, but Polish rock is different. And she makes like pop rock, so it's very dance-like, very poppy, very dancey. Pop rock, let's say. And also this album, I don't know, because this is the one I listened in my childhood. And this I bought because I saw Evena Finta. Okay, I love her, so I bought this, but I don't know any of these songs here, so it's not as sentimental for me. Next, as I said, let's move on faster. Katy Perry. These are two by Katy Perry. I don't know what's this called because it doesn't have written, and this is Prism. Prism. And again, this is more like my childhood uh, music genres, like very pop. Katy Perry is very, very pop. Let's face it. And some of her songs like are nostalgic to me because I was listening to them in my childhood in primary school, but I don't usually listen to her now. But it's nice to have these albums. Lady Tron. Very good, very good electronic music like good style electronic music. Wait, I can't hold them all on, on once, but I have four by Lady Tron. Let's say on. Four albums by Lady Tron. I like them sometimes. It's not uh, this kind of music that I listen to like daily, but I have some of them on my Spotify playlists and on random like playing, random play, they pop up and I love them. Ladytron is good. Please check them out. Subscribe on YouTube to Ladytron. And these three are like original albums, let's say, like with new music. And this is best of Ladytron. So it's more like a mixtape. And I don't know why I bought this. And this will be a trend in my music collection that when I was a kid and I was uh, like a nerd with some bands, like I was a nerd fan of Lady Gaga, then I would buy like everything that I see with her with the remixes also, like as well. Like why, why do you need these remixes? Why? I did. And I don't listen to them anymore. Now we have my Cyrus here. I love my Cyrus still, like she is one of my most listened to artists on Spotify Wrapped. On my Spotify Wrapped I think I had, if I remember correctly, Land Lana Del Rey, Trixie Mattel, Miley Cyrus, and then maybe Morchiba, Morchiba I love. And I don't know who was the last one. I, w I would have to check on my phone, on my gallery, but it's recording. Miley Cyrus is one of them, and like this is Awesome Bangers, I love this album so much. My favorite song is Adore You, and also... Like, maybe you're right. This is one of her newest, more, more recent, like... I mean, wait, no. 2017, that's like seven years ago, not very recent, but older. She is older in this one than it's in this. She is in this. And I'm a fan. Mary Cyrus, I'm a fan. But however, my favorite, favorite, favorite album of hers is Mary Cyrus and her Dead Pets, which is full of like beautiful, trippy, psychedelic music, but it's not available in Poland and... Um, it's kind of expensive for me to buy from like Great Britain, from UK, because British pounds are like five times more than Polish 
currency, złoty, Polish złoty. So buying from Great Britain is like expensive, expensive. Okay, we are back. We changed locations because we lost daylight. Because we were sitting at the window earlier. This is the music. And we lost daylight because it's too late now. So we stopped on... Maybe this lamp is not the best like for the reflection in my glasses, right? We stopped on... Miley Cyrus, right? So next one is Iggy Azalea, which I loved really much. I liked, um, maybe let's say, let's say I liked her. I liked her in middle school and like the end of primary school, but I don't listen to her a lot now. Some of these are good, but some of these are like not very... I don't want to say... Um, I don't want to be rude, but I wanted to say very tasteful, because her recent music sometimes is like about sex, and I'm like, do you have to? Do we have to do this? Like, it's not classy, it's not appetizing, it's not delicious. Stop singing about your down there, okay? Now we have some Lady Gagas. And I was a very huge fan of Lady Gaga throughout my life, like from their childhood, let's say five years old, six years old and later. And also, as you can see, I even bought these remixes of songs. Like, these are not like original albums, these are remixes, which I don't listen to, but I bought them because I was a fan. And I was like, oh, Lady Gaga on the cover, what's that? I want to get this, I want to buy this. That was me spending money in childhood. But then, Joanne, good album, good music, I like it. Art Pop, maybe like the best one, very good. Um, fame, awesome, I love. Lady Gaga, I really think she had like, a huge impact on my like music gusta, me gusta, in childhood, like pop. I listen to Lady Gaga all the time, so I naturally have most of her albums. Um, I also have this one, but I don't like, because this one is like, like this American s mainstream jazz. But anyways, Lady Gaga awesome, however, Chromatica not so awesome, like her newest album, I'm like, I like the, the before albums, the aerial albums more. I'm sorry, Chromatica, I don't know, I don't know, not for me, maybe just not for me, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not for me. Next, Christina Aguilera, love, awesome, we love Christina Aguilera. Uh, and also maybe more like in the childhood, because I don't listen to her like a lot, because some of her music is like too pop for me. I really, really loved pop in childhood and like nightcore, techno, electronic loud music, pop, dance music, but now in my adult life I'm a little bit more like toned, like maybe maybe lo-fi, a little bit more. Um, I still love pop sometimes and electro clash, electronic music I love, but not in the same like sense as in childhood, because let's face it, Christina Aguilera is very pop and mainstream pop. Some of her songs are very beautiful and I also love her music mm, more now, I mean her more recent albums than her old albums like this one. I don't listen to her old music because I like the recent music better. And also this and oh yeah, this like um, her old music doesn't really suit my tastes as much as the more recent ones. And when I say more recent ones, I mean... Okay, I don't know when is Lotus from, but it's not recent. It's at least eight years old now, I think. 
This one is one thousand one two thousand and ten, like twenty ten. It's not recent. One, I don't know, but it's recent in comparison to nineteen ninety nine. Okay, I didn't like this very much, but I like this and this. And generally, Christina Aguilera stan love heart. Talented. And uh, the, the last one on this pile, on this shelf, is Sing soundtrack from the movie. And I bought this because, just only because I saw this in the shop. Like, most of these songs are not even original ones. It's like a mixtape from the movie. It's, I, it's, it's not very, like, desirable because, let's see, we had also original soundtrack from Burlesque. And I mean, these are original songs that were written for the movie, which are awesome, very good. Tough Lover, um, You Haven't Seen The Last Of Me, from Cher, beautiful. beautiful. Conchita Wurst, awesome, amazing, we love her. This album has... Like 12, they are not like numbered, so I had to... All of these songs are amazing, like each one of these songs are good. Awesome, very pop, very uh, like uh, entertaining music. <laughs> I mean, in Polish we say on this genre like muzyka rozrywkowa, which is entertaining, mu entertainment music, but I, I don't think it, it exists in English. <laughs> Good, awesome. And also Conchita Wurst, when she was in Eurovision like in 20... what? 13? 14? Something like that? Immediately when I saw her, I was like, that's impressive because she was a very like... Um, impactful. She was impactful and important in like my personal expression journey, like gender expression and ge gender identity journey. I was very like proud and also like in awe, like looking up to her for um, the bravery, you know. You know with kids, I in, in 2020, um, 2013, in 2013 when this came out I was in uh, middle school, like 12, uh, 13 or something, middle school. So, you know, at that age you are like learning about yourself, like, I don't know, do you want to be a boy? Do you want to be a girl? Do you want to be something else? So I was very much like discovering myself. So she was like a huge impact on my discovery of myself, like, Am I trans? Do I want to be a girl? Because, by the way, I was born a boy and now I'm a gender. I'm, I'm, I'm fully, like, developed a gender person. He, she. By the way, just by the way. Huge impact, okay? Next. Natalia Przybysz. Good music, a little weird. Like, I don't mean this in a mean sense. But her music is definitely not for everybody because it's a little bit like folk Polish, but a little bit old soul, like old soul trapped in a young body. Um, archaic, archaic voice, but awesome. This album, this one, I think I like every single song on here. Like, I, I really do like her. Natalia Przybysz, amazing. Amazing artist, good artist. This is like a tribute to Janis Joplin, so I don't know Janis Joplin. I don't have like strong opinions on this one because it's, it, it's... Janis Joplin is not like sentimental to me, I don't know her. But this is like Natalia Przybysz singing Janis Joplin's songs. I think. This is awesome, and this is uh, one of her newest ones. Um, newer. It's not newest, it's like 2017, but it's newer. 
than this. Also good, like good, um, good, like good artist, okay? Natalia Przybysz, good artist. Next we have uh, Scissor Sisters. And they do like a glam rock. That's what it says on, on the internet. And it's like very drag music, very queer, feeling yourself, you know, like very dance, dance like to dance to, dancey. Good party music, you know, good party. I like them, good. Recommend, recommend. Next, Britney Spears, and I don't have any like official albums of her. It's like the best of Britney Spears and Britney Spears The Essential. So I bought them because I saw them and I was like, yeah, sure, I like Britney Spears. And she was also alongside Lady Gaga, my biggest um, favorite uh, artist in childhood since I was like four years old to middle school. Lady Gaga and Britney Spears, pop, dance music, very huge in my heart, very nostalgic, very sentimental. We we like, we do. Next is Pink, and with Pink I have the same thing as with Christina Aguilera, that I don't really like her old music. Not, it doesn't like fit my tastes, it, it's just not for me. But her newer ones, like from this point, later this is my favorite album great music like i love i like most of these songs here this is very good album um pink is great artist we like pink in this household i mean i do not anyone else i do pink amazing pink we love we stand my music uh, uh, like favorite music genres changed a lot over the life my life because since childhood, since like four years old, I liked pop, dance music, pop rock, like just easy music to dance to. So Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, Evelina Flinta, Uzi, and who else? Tina Turner maybe, because we had one album of Tina Turner in the house, so we listened to, and the parents listened to, my parents. So I knew and I liked, but not anymore, uh, whatever. And then in middle school, I was more into like techno and electronic music, very aggressive, uh, like a little bit of electro clash maybe. So like Lady Tron, Tech Taiwan or Tech Taiwan. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, what else? I don't want to say this because it's cringe, but Bass Hunter, Bass Hunter, I really listen to Bass Hunter, yeah. I also have Daft Punk, but I never like like them very, very much. I liked one song or two, like, you know, Technologic. Around the world, around the world. So I bought these Daft Punks, these three Daft Punks, only because I like two songs of them, of theirs. But I don't listen to them anymore. And even then, when I bought them, I like listened to this ones, to this ones, and to this zero maybe. <laughs> Daft Punk, not really my style. But speaking of Electro Clash, Skinny Patrini, awesome. Google Skinny Patrini, that's skinny as in skinny, and Patrini. Check them out. Awesome, awesome, amazing Polish music. And um, Polish band, I mean, they don't do like Polish music. They do Electro Clash and Grunge, Trashy, Garage, Canadian, Electro Clash. You know the vibe? I do you know the vibe of like Canadian art artists. Like whenever there is a band that does like the most experimental, trashy, grungy. When I say trashy, I mean like Grunge, Garage music. I check them out. They're from Canada. Lesbians on Ecstasy, July Talk, I think, I think are July Talk from Canada, 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 Canada. Like, I feel like most of the times the best grunge, garage, trashy, electro clash indie alternative rock music is from Canada. And Skinny Patrini are like that. They sound like Canadian artists, but they're from Poland. 
we love Polish artists here. Poland, we love. And okay, this is the, the last pile, the last shelf of music. So this is Alice in Wonderland and it's not music, by the way. This is an educational computer PC game that looks so authentically disgusting. I mean, it's like from early 2000s, 2001, are you kidding me? With like this type of 3D early uh, graphics with a living actor on green screen playing. So I am playing this with my friend when she visits. I am. We love, we love to see trashy early 2000s game. That's our vibe, because I am a 2000s kid, okay? I was born in 2001, so everything that is like 2000s is like my vibe, my energy, my nostalgia. Nostalgia, nostalgia. This, <laughs> this, has, this is a great story because this is Mohicans by Alejandro Kerevalu or Alexandro Kerevalu because it's like, it's spelled with X. So I don't know, Alexandro or, or Alejandro? Alejandro or Alexandro Kerevalo? This is very nostalgic to me because we listened to this in my like family, household, parents, when we were, when I was a kid, when I was a child. And when I found this music on the internet, I was like, I know this. I know this from my childhood. We found this because this is kind of a lost media for our family for a long time because we didn't know where we got this from. And then my friend told me that they got it from the, like a seaside, Polish seaside uh, cities, tourist like places where um, like street artists played this type of music, like these covers and sold their albums. So my uncle had this album that he bought on a like a um, tourist, tu touristic, um, touristic uh, holiday spot on the seaside, where the street art is played. And the story with this is that, as you can see, we have two of these, because I found this on a Polish auction site and bought this, and inside was a wrong disc, wrong CD. This is not Alexandro Kerevalo. This is Indian's tribal spirit. I don't know by whom. But I saw this when I got the package and I texted to the seller on the auction site, like, hey, I'm sorry, but this is not the, this right city. I mean, this is not the right thing. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even open it. And I just got it from somebody and sold it further, like from the family collection or something like, they didn't know, they didn't realize. And they were like, um, um, do you want your cash back? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I would like that. And like, um, do you want this back, this album? And he was like, no, you can keep it. Keep the album and I will give you your cash back. So free, this, is, this was for free. And then I got this, which has, oh, the original Alejandro Kerevalu Mohicans disc here. So, slay, sharpshooter. Amazing. Alejandro Kerevalu, we love you in our house. Now we have some V. V, my favorite boy band ever, like British boys bands from 2000s, early 2000, 2004. They, I am so like intrigued by the story of V because they existed for one year, made one album, which is great, awesome, and they broke apart. So they don't exist anymore. But I mean, I will show you something later in a, in a, in a second, but I just wanted to show you that I have three like singles. This is like a single publish not an album, like they also have a full album with like 10 or so songs, 12, 13. But these are like singles with five tracks on it. This has two tracks, like look, this has two tracks on this uh, CD. And I bought it from the, from the UK. So 
I overpaid because British pounds, as I said earlier, not delicious for Polish people. British pounds, I, I am waiting for you to drop below five złoty or like four. Dream, dream. Uh, and this is like my absolutely favorite British old boy band. Like, I love this energy of these like five boys in the, the like the widest, the hugest jeans ever, like staying like this. Wait. You know, legs wide apart, like they do this, like, why are you standing like this? Why are your legs like that much apart? Like, but this is the energy of 2000s. Everybody did that into the 2000s, so we love, we love the, we love in my heart, like I am waiting for them to reactivate, but that was 20 years ago. They are old now, like they are 40 plus, I think. And I want to show you something because I have one singular, one singular poster on my wall, like there are no other posters and I would like, I would wish, I want to uh, poster up this whole wall uh, over my bed, this is my bed, this is my wall, I want to poster it all, but I only have, I'm starting with this, this is the start, this is the first poster that I have, it's of V, would you guess that? Would you guess that? V. So these are the boy band. Like I don't I, I don't I don't mean this as a mean thing, but look the way they are standing. Like why are they standing like this? Why are you standing like this? This baggy, huge Among Us Among Us? Humongous, I want to say humongous jeans. Like at the soul of the two thousands. Two thousands? I want you back. I mean I would never wear jeans like this, but Okay, that was a ramble, okay? That was a ramble. Let's move on to the music. Kiesha, next is Kiesha, which I know, she's a Canadian artist, like, can you see how can Canada, Canada, how do you say Canada, Canada? Because in Polish we say Canada, Canadian artists, and I don't want to be mean, but they are like the weirdest ones, because Kesha is a little weird, like her music is weird, her music videos are weird. But we stand, we stand Kesha, and I know that she is from Canada, from up there, you know, uh, English-speaking country. It's spelled Kesha, like K-I-A-S-Z-A, -A, with S-Z, so... Um, a lot of Americans and like UK people skip the Z, like like they say like silent Z. You know? Do you know that? Her name is spelled Kaisa with silent Z. Kaisa, 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 Kaisa. But I'm like, then why would you put this Z here? It's Kiesha in in Polish. S Z in Polish is Sh. Like we have a sound for this. It's Kiesha, and it's so funny because like you know. When I first saw her on music television, like, you know, MTV, but f in Polish it's SKTV. Uh, uh, in Poland it's SKTV. Uh, we saw her with my friends and we were like, Kiesha, what a name, because in Polish it sounds funny, because it sounds a little bit like Kieszeń, which is pocket, and also like Knysza, which is a fast food dish that origins, I think, from Greece. I think Knysha is a Greek fast food meal dish. I'm not sure, but just Kiesha sounds funny in Polish. So I keep on saying Kiesha. I will never call her Kaisa. Like Kaisa? Kaisa from League of Legends? Who? Kiesha. Kiesha, we love. We, we love. Her music is weird, but it's like amazing. I love the energy. I love the vibe. Kiesha, love. Heart. This was like the first ever, ever, ever my music album, first ever. By the way, am I too loud? Like, this is the problem with my every one video. 
I start a video with like soft speaking, but then I shout by the end of it. By the end of the video, I shout. Zaz, French music, French artist, 2010 album. I don't listen to anymore. This was my first ever music album on my collection uh, when I was like in primary school, like what, eight years old, 10. In 2010, I was nine. So we don't listen anymore, but we liked in the, in the, pre in the past. Now this is a find. That is a find because Nicola Roberts, I love, love Nicola Roberts. She was a part of a girl band group called Girls Aloud. And she like, I think like she tried to make a solo career and she only produced one album and I love it. I love it so much. I love her music. Nicola Roberts, I love your music. If you're watching, I love it. Love. And on Spotify, there's only like the, the main primary version of the album with just the songs and whatnot, whatever. And I somehow found on the internet, like it's not that hard to find, like I just didn't know it existed, but I found this version that has like the main album, the main songs from the album, and also like CD2, Behind Cinderella Eyes, and these are all unreleased demo songs. So I feel like such a collector now that I have her unreleased demo songs on here. Amazing, from Great Britain, from UK. Um, so I overpaid, obviously. <laughs> Sorry. Now, okay, now we are stepping into the best stuff in my whole collection. So if you are still watching this video, this loud ass video where I'm screaming to the microphone, then you're lucky because now we are stepping into the Polish chill out club like trip hop mixtapes. This is Polski Leniwe, which is like a mixtape of songs of artists that you will just find nowhere. Like most, like many or some of these songs I couldn't find on Spotify. These artists are like some indie old artists that are played in a club and like don't anymore. This is amazing. And also like this um, art, this art style, this art style, I love it. It's from 2004. It's from 2004. There are some great, amazing hits on it. I'm in love. Polskie Leniwe. And now, this is a find. This is a find from antique store. I bought most of this like from a Lombard antique stores on the internet. They were so cheap because these are like Polish chill out music mixtapes that like most people don't even know exist probably. And I will show you but I want to find the first one. Okay, these are called Pieprz i Vanilia. Pieprz i Vanilia, which means in Polish black pepper and vanilla. And this is Pieprz i Vanilia 1. And inside every mixtape, there are two CDs with many songs on it. So these are literally like mixtapes of old 2000s um, chill out club like music, some indie indie vibes like jazz, funk, very international, amazing. And it has like five volumes. It is Pieprz i Vanilla 1, 2, 3, should I be counting in English? That's cztery in, in Polish. And pięć. Pierwszy vanilla pięć. And only this one, this fifth volume, has a different like design, like a different font on five and a little bit different 
inside because for some reason it's like this like one colon under uh, under what's this called under underscore and all of the previous ones were like this simplistic design And we love, we stand, these are the best finds that I could find alongside with Polski Lenive. Like, this is my soul. Everything on this is like 2004, let's see, 2007, 2006, like the early 2000s compilation of music. That is my soul, my dear, like my dear soul my height. This is my height, this is my soy. And just like this, I showed you everything. This is the end of the video, the very long video, like, I don't know, 40 minutes? More than, more than. Um, thank you for watching. I know this not, this was not a very ASMR video, like, at all. I feel like I was screaming the whole video, like I cannot keep on soft speaking throughout the video because I will forget how I started and then by the end of the video I'm shouting and screaming. So you, 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 you and you are not like falling asleep to this video. You are not, you are watching this while working, while like cooking, doing jigsaw puzzles, by the way. If you are interested in like collection of other things, like I have only a few books, so maybe not a few games, um, because I mostly have games on Steam now. You know, in twenty twenty, you don't really buy PC games on, um, on on DVD, but I have a large collection of puzzles. If you're interested, so. Yeah. <laughs>